Charlie, happening today, more Oregonians are eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine, including an additional group that Governor Brown just announced Friday. Elise Haas has details on that. Elise. Jenny, the biggest last minute group that Governor Brown added to eligibility today is the family members of frontline workers. So that's something that you may have missed over the weekend. But all the groups that were originally planned, group seven to start today, are as follows. That is the frontline workers as defined by the CDC. So that includes energy and chemical workers. That includes journalists, government support services, and more. As well as people living in a multi generational household and people who are 16 to 40. 44 with one or more underlying health conditions. This morning I've already checked all of the various mass vaccination clinics for you and all of the appointments are still booked up as of right now for this week. But don't be discouraged. Just keep checking back for those openings for next week. You can schedule your appointment online. I was able to do so in a matter of minutes. I swear it was very easy. We have all of those links for you to those clinics at coin.com or you can sign up at allfororegon.org. That website is on your screen. The shots are free, but your insurance may be billed to help cover the cost of administering the shot. And at, at your first appointment, that is when they will schedule your second shot. As we mentioned, the deadline for everybody to get vaccinated, everyone 16 and up, is going to be on May 1st. And this is, as Oregon Governor Kay Brown has really been warning everyone, that we might be upon a fourth surge of COVID-19. They have seen hospitalizations as well as cases go up in the last month. So at this point, Jenny, Governor Brown says that it's a race between the vaccines and the variants. Yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you, Elise. Well, this comes as the state is on track.